Hello and welcome to some book recommendations brought to you by Warhammer40kbookreviews.com Now, the warp is one of the defining elements of the Warhammer 40k universe. It's a parallel dimension that is home to chaos and where the impossible is reality and trivial things such as time and space get bent over and are dealt a thorough spanking by the godlike entities that dwell within. Through the power of the warp, the psychers of the galaxy can tap into a sea of awesome but extremely volatile and dangerous power. Its presence is a constant threat to the Imperium, yet it is also vital in keeping the sprawling Imperium intact, as travel through the warp is what allows ships to move faster than light. This powerful and treacherous force is one of my favorite aspects of the Grimdark Warhammer 40k universe, and if you want some reading material that excellently demonstrates the lure and power that lurks within the warp, then I highly recommend reading these books. Firstly, A Thousand Suns. The Thousand Suns were originally an entire legion of space marines that were all powerful psychers. They were capable of amazing feats and their Primarch Magnus the Red was perhaps the greatest psyker in existence by the Emperor himself. In this Horus Heresy book, we get to see this astonishing power unleashed against the foes of the Imperium. The Thousand Suns go to war in a frenzy of psychic fire, mind shields and with the ability to see into the future and divine where the enemy will attack. It's a truly exemplary demonstration of how the warp can empower a psyker in battle. At the same time, it's of course also a history about the dangers of using the warp and about the price of arrogance. The fate of the Thousand Suns is one of tragedy, caused in significant part by their affinity and connection to the realm of chaos. The second book I would recommend is Eisenhorn. Eisenhorn is a much more subtle demonstration of the powers of the warp than A Thousand Suns, where A Thousand Suns is all about the spectacle that comes with applying these powers in battle, Eisenhorn is a much more chilling example of the insidious corrupting powers of chaos and how they are able to infiltrate deep into the ranks of the Imperium. In Eisenhorn we see how Inquisitor Eisenhorn hunts down heretics of the Imperium that have dedicated their lives to the powers of chaos. It's a great showcase for the internal danger that the warp represents and how the corruption of the Imperium's citizens is at least as big of danger uh, as any demonic in manifestation. Furthermore, it's a great look at how the Inquisition views chaotic corruption and how it can sometimes be a real challenge for any Inquisitor to avoid being affected by the corruption he lives to destroy. The last book I want to recommend is The First Heretic. Uh, what better way to experience the warp than by joining the Primarch Logar and his word bearers legion as he first discovers the true nature of the warp and its insidious inhabitants. The story of the first heretic is one of the slow discovery of what really lurks inside the warp, at a time where the common understanding of this realm was that it was merely a parallel dimension that harbored no more dangers than the cold void of space. It's a tale of how the first Space Marine Legion discovered the Chaos Gods and subsequently fell to their corrupting influence. The great horror of the first heretic is witnessing how Logar yearns to find true divinity in the galaxy after he has been uh, thoroughly chastised for proclaiming the Emperor to be a god. This is a story of a pilgrimage into the heart of the warp and the beginning of the spread of a sickness in the mightiest weapons of the Imperium. A sickness that eventually sparked the civil war that in essence resulted in the Imperium as it is in the 41st millennium. So those are my three recommendations. I uh, hope that uh, you will check them out.